All right, so if everything is good, redirect. Now, the reason we're redirecting is so we can refresh the page, okay? So once we refresh the page, there'll be no, that, uh, that resend thing will not come in. So let me try again and say, this is my third post on this profile. Pretty cool stuff. So let me hit post and it has refreshed. So this time if I hit refresh, I don't get that uh, thing that I had gotten before. So which is good, now we have three posts. So what do we do? So let's uh, read from the database and get some posts. So this only happens if we post, but however, even if we don't post, we have to retrieve existing posts. So to do that, we go down here and say, collect posts. Now the procedure is almost exactly the same. We uh, create, uh, we, we are going to use the same uh, post, uh, the post class. We'll simply add a new function that uh, gets, gets us posts. So since we are using the same method, I'm simply going to say post is equal to new post, right there, copy that. And then we'll need our ID because we want to get only our uh, our posts and then we get a result and uh, whether the result is 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 there or not uh, it shouldn't matter so let me come back here and paste that there so we have our ID and we have now the only thing we have to change here is not create posts is get posts so we have to create this function and so we pass in the ID of the user. So we don't need to uh, give the post data in here because we are not posting, we just want to get. And then instead of result, we are going to just say posts, like so. Now, just in case this uh, doesn't work out, it's going to return a false. So we'll have to check for that before we try to post these. So let me create this function, get posts. So we go to the post.php in classes, okay? So we have these uh, functions. We have this function called create post. Now let's make our own function down here. It's going to be public, of course. Let me say pub, oh, sorry. Public function get posts, okay? So we get the ID of the posts that we want. So I'm going to add ID like that. So as we need more functionality, we can simply be adding more functions to this class. Now, this procedure of uh, uh, getting stuff here is going to be pretty much uh, the same. This is the DB, we need the query, we need the DB and so on. So I'm just going to copy that stuff here. So the only difference here is the query and then we are going to need to capture some results. So I'll say result is equal to. So let me zoom in a little bit. And then instead of insert, we are reading. So we are going to say select all from posts, right? So we remove all this. We're going to say where the user ID is equal to the ID we got there. So let me put this in inverted commas as well. So we won't put limit one because we want as many posts as possible. So if we want to retrieve only 10 posts, we can say limit 10. Now we want to be able to get the latest posts. Okay. So in order to do that, before the limit, we are going to say order by ID descending. So this is how you do it. If you want to start from the beginning, you say order by ID ascending. You can order by any column. You can order by the debt column. Now, the reason I'm ordering by the ID is because I told, I know that my, uh, uh, my database is adding an ID automatically here from one to, so descending order is from this one up. So I want the latest post first and the other one last. 
So that's why I'm using order by this, like so. And I'm ordering it by the ID column, okay? So it's a simple query, select all from posts or columns where the user ID of that column is equal to the ID right here. So in posts, there's a user ID. So as you can see, both these posts contain the ID of the user that posted them. So both of them will be retrieved. And it's that simple, then we get the result. And once we get the result, if result return, so we'll say if result, then uh, we return the result. If not, then we return false. Return false. So all we have to do is to check whether there's a false, then we know there are no results. So this is pretty cool. If we go back to the profile, posts is equal to get posts ID. So we are assuming that posts at this point contains either false or the information we want. So down here, before we do the posting, we have to check. So where is that? Here it is. So instead of using a for loop, all we are going to do is check, first of all, if posts like that, okay? If posts, now if posts is true, we're going to say for each. Now the variable we are going through is posts. And then we are going to get a key and a value. But at this point, the keys in these rows are going to be one, two, three, four, because there's one row, second row. So I don't need the keys. So simply what I'm going to say is posts as row because I'm getting rows, okay? And then I'll put my code here. So I don't need all this here. I don't need that. So all I need to do is include this guy right here. And that's it. So now each time this is loaded, row is going to contain the data that we want. So in order to know, if we refresh here, we're going to, we're supposed to see the number of posts. Since the posts here, are, I think we have something like three. Should we have three posts by now? Yes, three posts. So I should see only three here, even though they will have the wrong data. So if I come back, invalid arguments applied for each online 278. So it's saying my, this value is invalid. So if posts, so which means it did not return. Uh, so in order to, to, before we go here, let's check and say var dump. Let's put posts in there so that we know what it's returning. So it's returning a Boolean of true. So why is that? This is not what we want. So let's go to the, let me remove that. I don't need it. Let's go to the classes, posts classes, right? Get posts. If I go back to profile.php, I have to make sure that it get, it's get posts that I used up here because I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, it is get posts. Okay, so if I go to the classes, get posts, the ID is over there. So why did it return true? Oh, because I'm using save. So I should have changed this one to read. All right, so my bad. So let's refresh and there we are. So we have one, two, three, which means everything is good. So in the next video, we're going to see how to replace the data one after the other.